This is a movie about the love lives of nerd teenagers who have the power to make beautiful girls fall in love with them. Watch how two beautiful women want this teen for his unique bedtime ability. So, today we're talking about a movie recap called Oh Ramona. You're going to love Ramona. The movie kicks off with our main man, Andre, chilling on the couch at a lit party. He spots this foxy lady named Ramona shaking her groove thing on the dance floor and is like, dang, how do I slide into those DMs? His wingman, Sue, gives him a nudge and hands him a banana. Basically saying, go get em, tiger. Andre tries to play it cool and busts some moves next to Ramona before saying he's got to drain the monster, if you know what I mean. But when he gets to the bathroom, he finds a nasty surprise in the toilet that really kills his vibe. He comes back, and Ramona's waiting. But some loudmouth announces his embarrassing parking ticket to the whole party. Andre tries to make a joke out of it like, well, that was a crappy first date. A few days later, the brothers are back on the couch, and they're egging Andre on to give it another shot with Ramona. With that liquid courage flowing, Andre starts popping and locking in front of her while she's chatting with her girls about how she'd never date a virgin. She finally notices his sweet moves, and they get their groove on together. Ramona says, and she takes him to a private room, oh boy. She pushes him onto the bed and starts stripping down, ooh la la, in the heat of the moment. Andre gets all mushy and confesses his love for her and how he wants to keep it real. But Ramona is not feeling it and storms out, angry as a hornet. The next day, Salo and Alan are giving Andre grief, thinking he blew his chance with Ramona. Then, plot twist, Salo starts dating her. Andre thinks it's just to stick it to him, so they get into a heated argument, and Sana knocks him out cold. Andre needs a break, so he goes on vacation with his mama. At the hostel, he meets this blonde bombshell receptionist named Anam. He lays it on thick with the compliments, and she's like, ha ha, you're funny, want to take a stroll on the beach? On the walk, Anna mentions she has a boyfriend, but Andre is not deterred. They end up swapping some spit after a little musical interlude and spend the night tangoing in her room. It's a little PG-rated example of what happened, you know what I mean. The next morning, Andre's all dressed up looking fly, but Anam got the boot from her job because of their hanky-panky, and her boyfriend's on his way. Back home, Andre gets a troubling text from Ramona saying so hurt her. He rushes over, but she threatens to call the cops if he doesn't go away. When he returns to school, everyone's treating him like a leper. <laughs> thanks to Ramona's tall tales. His mom thinks Ramona might still have a thing for him, so Andre slyly gets Anam's digits from the hostel, saying he found her wallet. They meet for coffee, and Anam offers to let him crash at her place. They find themselves in a bathroom stall getting spicy. But the bouncer ain't having it and decks Andre after he spills the beans. Anam offers to let him crash at her place. While exploring together the next day, Andre is wondering about Anam's relationship status. She says she's not trying to dump her man. Long story short, they call it quits. Andre tries to catch a ride home wearing nothing but a towel, living that hobo chic life. Back at school, Ramona's been spreading rumors that Andre is playing for the other team with his buddy Alan. The next day, he hangs with Carla, the only one who still trusts his sketchy self. They smoke a little something something and get a little frisky. So, Carla's in the shower while Andre is just chilling in his birthday suit. He runs away after riding the bear with a strategically placed sock situation happening downstairs. If you catch my drift, he makes a hasty exit. The next morning, Alan's worried all this rumor mill action is tanking Andre's game with the ladies. So he confronts him. They hatch a plan for Andre to go full court press on Ramona instead. The next day, Andre is rocking a fresh new look that's making all the senoritas swoon. He spots Ramona at a cafe and, feeling himself, slides over and invites her to Netflix and, yeah, you know, he even plants a little sugar on her lips. At school, Ramona is all over Andre like white on rice. He's feeling a bit suffocated, so he turns to his wingman Alan for advice. They decide to get revenge on Sue by pulling one over on Carla. They set up some flowers and a love note on her desk, making it look like it's from Sue trying to holler. Carla's over the moon and publicly accepts his interest, but when Sue shuts the down hard and mocks her appearance, the truth comes out. Her and Andre's past enjoyments make her go nuclear, and she gets in Sue's face, shocking the whole class. That night, Andre and Ramona find some alone time on a church rooftop. 
sharing some sasser juice and making up. The kisses are getting spicy when Andre suggests taking it to her place. At first, Ramona is not so sure, comparing him to other dudes, but Andre lays it on thick and convinces her to take him home. As they're macking, Andre promises nothing too wild is going to go down tonight. Ramona's response? Chomp, she bites his finger like a snack. The next morning, Ramona's all apologies and says she wants to be his one and only. But later, when Andre runs into his old fling Anam, who's in town, he dips out to meet her behind Ramona's back and even introduces her to his mom. Ramona calls looking for some chill time, but Andre's ducking her calls left and right. He can't decide between Anam and Ramona, so he finally comes clean to Ramona about his new situation with Anam. Cutting things off that night, after getting down with Anam, Andre chooses her for sure. But Ramona shows up at his place the next evening, thirsty for some Andre action. They get a little drunk, and there's a makeout sesh going outside before Andre finally rips off the band aid about his relationship with Anam. Three years later, Andre is a successful author, running into Ramona at a bar. She confesses she still thinks about him sometimes, but Andre is committed to Anam and shuts it down. But then, drama ensues when Ramona insists on driving Andre home, on the car ride from hell. She drops the bomb that she's engaged but struggling hard with her relationship. She even rests her head in Andre's lap, looking for comfort. When Andre finally gets home, he's eager to download Anam about the crazy night. But there's a note, she's gone and left him. He's devastated, shedding man tears over her sudden departure. Just when all hope is lost, there's a wild twist. The narrator reveals he's a future version of Andre. With the futuristic wisdom of future Andre guiding him, we flash back to that party where Andre rejected Ramona. But this time when Sue asks if he'll go for her, Andre doesn't just answer. He completely loses his cool and decks Sue. He realizes he could have just walked away from Ramona then and there with no drama. With fresh perspective, Andre confronts the missteps of his past, ready to make better choices and shape his future how he wants it. And on that note of self-empowerment, the movie wraps up.